Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. I'm going to do a little bit of an update for you on, you know, some normal channel business. I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, one, I want you to remember that um, we are trying to build the channel, so it is important if you can share... Um, and you can, um, subs if you're watching my videos, I would like to see you subscribe and, um, you know, share. So just, you know, try to help the channel out a little bit. Like I told you in the past, I don't plan on making this a great big thing. It's kind of a hobby for me. I'm not a business. It's keeping me sane. But it's nice to see the channel grow a little bit. Okay, enough of that. Now, um, everybody's orders that were supposed to be shipped out were shipped out. Um, kindly, please just send me an email um, or leave me a comment somewhere in one of the videos. I prefer an email that you get your order, okay, and that um, if you get a chance, check it out and make sure everything is okay with it. That is really appreciated. I... Um, I just like to know that everything arrived to you guys safely. All right. Um, now, the channel's not going to be, um, there's going to be videos coming up. But um, I had a, um, another unfortunate incident um, that happened probably three weeks ago to a month ago. And um, again, it was, it was due to a jewelry bag. Um, I didn't think very much of it, to be honest with you. Um, I got something in my finger. Now, um, I'm not sure if it was an earring post or if it was a paper clip. I can't remember right now. I know it wasn't a brooch, but it was something, okay, that stuck into my finger and um, some pieces broke off. So... The thing was killing me. I mean, it was really, really bothering me really bad. And being the, the crazy person that I am, I uh, turned around and I took clippers to it and I dug in there. And believe it or not, I pulled a piece of metal out of my finger. And um, so I'm, I'm kind of going. It looked more like it was something to do with a paper clip, um, which we get in the jewelry boxes. We also get other things. Um, you know, and it's my own fault, you know, um, you do have to, you do dump things out, but you do have to reach into the pile, and as most of you know, most, some of these piles are very, very tangled, and it's, it's, it's almost impossible, you know, not for something to happen, whether you get stuck by a brooch or whatever, I just don't want no razor blades, glass, and stuff like this, this was unexpected. So, anyway, I took care of it. I kept cleaning it and putting iodine on it and stuff. And um, even with the piece of metal that came out, it was still bothering me. It was bothering me in the sense that if you touched it against anything, it hurt. It felt like there was something still in my finger. So, um, today I had an appointment with... Um, my dermatologist and I you know it's my yearly checkup where you go in and they give you a complete body um, look over from your head down to the bottoms of your feet to make sure that there's no cancerous lesions or anything that's questionable so I had told my primary care doctor's nurse about this and she says make sure you show it to Dr. DeMarco well anyway they operated on my finger this morning, and um, it is on my left hand, but I can't, I don't realize how much you do with your left hand. Um, it's bandaged up, it's got a pressure bandage on it, and I have all kinds of care. This has to be taken care of um, every, um, twice a day, probably for the next two and a half to three weeks. So, um... I can type with one hand. Um, I'm going to wear rubber gloves. 
and um, I'm still going to do videos, but it's just going to take me a little bit longer to do some. So um, I have stuff lined up here, and tomorrow when I when I get up, I'm I'm going to hope to turn around and process the last two videos. Congratulations and thank you, everybody who purchased from those videos. You got some really really lovely pieces, um, and I really appreciate that. You know, you, you um, continue to support me. So um, anyway, it's very painful right now because it just happened this morning. The anesthesia wore off and um, I just want to make sure for like the next day or two until it starts to heal a little bit. I have, they gave me a huge bag full of stuff for wound care because they treated this in a way which I never, never seen anybody do. They, instead of going in and making a cut and then digging out they did a cross section, and then went they, after they did that, they went in and they they made a hole, and um, they put pressure on it after it was done. It bled like crazy, and then they take and they they pack it with Vaseline. All right, so that's what I have to do. I have to take the bandage off um, twice a day, and I have to do that. Now, I also have another bandage that's supposed to go over this that's in the bag over there. They didn't put it on when I left, but they gave it to me so I, after I change the bandage, I can put it on. So anyway, um, I'm just going to be careful. I'm going to be a little slower. Um, and uh, I hope you guys understand. Um, and hopefully we'll find out what was inside of my finger because they sent it out for pathology. They don't think it's anything else. At first when he looked at it, he says, maybe it's a wart. I said, I know it's not a wart because it wasn't there three weeks ago. And then he looked at it closer with this little thing he's got. He says, yeah, he says, we, we should cut that all out. So I said, okay. But anyway, there's no stitches. So I'm going to have this wound that... I have to do all this wound care to that has to heal from the outside going in. So it's going to take a while for that, that to happen. All right. Um, I just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know what's going on in case you don't see as much content as you normally do. That is what is going on in my life right now. So um, unexpected, but... Um, I'm very glad that they took it out because um, as soon as this, um, in a day or two, um, once I can more or less look at it and see, and it started to affect my joint above and mostly below where this was on my finger. So I'm glad it's gone because I don't know what that could have caused. All right, that's all pretty much what I wanted to say to you. Um, oh, the other thing, the video that we did yesterday with um, all the bone and everything, um, I left some really, really good links below that video for you guys to check out um, about all about ivory and what is correct. You're allowed to own ivory um, depending on what it is. Um, you just can't. You can't, you can't sell certain stuff. And th these articles that I turned around and I put in under the video are very interesting. Two of them are from the United States Game and Wildlife. And the other one has got pictures, too, um, that shows you the difference. And it also tells you all the different sources of where the ivory can come from. And what I was trying to show you with the black light... Um, you know, anything underneath, even plastic underneath a black light will show up white. But it's not going to be a white fluorescing white, okay? So that's the first clue that you have some kind of ivory, all right? If, I mean, it, it kind of showed up pretty good in the video, especially in the, um, the thumbnail, um, on my, my bracelet that I've had for a long time. Um, you know, you can take those pieces, you can wear them, you can enjoy them, you just can't 
um, sell them. It's not illegal for you to own them, okay? Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, I guess, your own personal preference. Um, I know once a year in New York, they have a time where people they have a, um, a wood chipper, and people go there, and they throw all their ivory in the wood chipper. Because um, years ago, there was many beautiful things that were made, lots of beautiful carved stuff. And um, I, mean, I don't believe in harvesting ivory for any reason whatsoever from any animal at all. Um, but, you know, it is beautiful. And once I, like, I've got very little of it. But, but I have this bracelet, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to turn around and get rid of it. It's going to stay with me. And... Um, I mean, you can all knock me for it, but uh, it's, I'm not selling it, you know, and I won't knowingly sell anything that I think is possibly ivory. So just go in and check out those three sites. Um, there's one part of the U.S. Uh, game and wildlife um, section where you're going to see a lot of different things that you can click on to give you information, answer a lot of questions that you might have about ivory. And... Um, it's really interesting. So if, if, if you want to learn a little bit more about it and what is right, what is wrong, what is legal, what is illegal, go in and check out those, um, those links. So that's it. I'm sure after I get off here, I'm going to remember something else. But uh, I'm a hot mess. So I was going to do face-to-face, -face, but um, it's, it's, it's a, we're supposed to get a break from the heat. You know, my hair goes all frizzy and nasty and everything when um, um, I get out in the humidity. I looked good this morning. I had makeup on and lipstick and everything else, but uh, um, that all went to hell. Especially, I sweat it nervously at the doctor's because he was going to do my finger. I didn't expect it. So, that didn't help either. So, anyway... If you can, do a thumbs, let me get my finger out of the way, a thumbs up, and um, I'd appreciate it. And it won't be long. I will have some content up for you, but just be patient. I will get those last two videos processed and your stuff in your bags, and hopefully after that I will give you updates in your email as far as what your balances are up to. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you don't know how much I feel like I've got a family that I never had before. And um, anytime you're looking for something or you have questions about anything, don't be afraid to ask. You know, I don't mind answering questions. I am not the biggest expert on everything. I do a lot of research. I do a lot of reading. Um... And I have a lot of resources on different things that I can send to you, all right? Um, so that you, you're, it, this is a constant learning experience, no matter how young or how old you are. And I welcome any help that anybody will give me. So I like to share my knowledge that I have with any of you. And I don't knowingly tell you something that's wrong. That's why I tried to back up the ivory stuff with the links so you could read. Very interesting read. So anyway, thank you all. Um, love you guys. Remember to stay safe, healthy, and above everything else, stay happy. And I will be in touch with you very, very soon. Remember, your packages are on their way to you. Okay, everybody. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.